Welcome to Buff or Fluff, the weekly recap where the OmniTalk staff and I break down the most important and exciting headlines for you in the world of retail. Quickly, here's how it works. For every headline, we tell you whether it's buff, important, or fluff, quite frankly, not that important at all. So let's get right to it. Headline number one, Amazon has announced that it's going to acquire PillPack. Is this story buff or fluff? 100% grade A buff. This move clearly signals that Amazon is going after the direct-to-consumer pharmacy business. If I was CVS and Walgreens, I'd be scared. But what does Walgreens say today? Well, their CEO comes out and says he's not afraid of the move at all. But I don't know how that can be. Recently, Amazon has also announced that they're going to open up two new Amazon Go stores right in Walgreens' backyard. The whole situation reminds me of that famous scene in Return of the Jedi where the Emperor says to Luke Skywalker, Now, young Skywalker. You must die with Walgreens playing the role of Skywalker. All right, headline number two. Party City plans to open up pop-up toy shops. Is this story buff or fluff? It is also decidedly buff. There is a ton of toy business to be had in the market, especially with the departure of Toys R Us. I love this move. Party City is essentially going to put pop-up shops in about 50 stores come the holiday time frame. I love it for a couple of reasons. Number one, Party City's, Party City's business is already very occasion-based. And by that, I mean it's built around parties and holidays, things that have a natural proclivity and, and sync up very well with when you're trying to purchase toys. Even if it doesn't work, they're going to learn a hell of a lot from trying this pop-up experience. And I hope it's one of the first steps for the industry on the road to what could be a very different way to merchandise toys in the world of retail. Let me tell you for a second what I mean. Imagine a world where you have physical locations that aren't toy stores with products on shelves, but toys just strewn about, almost like in a, almost in a play, playful atmosphere. Almost like a bonobo-style guide shop or showroom that's combined with mobile technology and visual recognition capabilities. Kids can play with the toys, parents can take a break, and if a parent sees a kid, say Johnny, loving the toy he's playing with, that parent can snap a picture of that toy, and when they get home, it's sitting on the doorstep for Johnny when they arrive. Parents look like a hero, and everyone is super happy, and you don't have the torture of what is currently going to a shop to look for toys with your children right now. Absolutely love this move. All right, lastly, to close us out, the third story of the week, Kroger has announced that they're going to begin experimenting with autonomous vehicles. Story, buff or fluff? So fluffy. It's like an omelet. Kroger has said they're gonna start experimenting with autonomous vehicles with a company called Neural out of Silicon Valley. I don't like this idea. I've liked a lot of things Kroger Kroger has done recently, specifically the Ocado deal. But this one, this one seems distracting. This This seems like tech for tech's sake. Or it seems like what I'm now, a term I'm now coining as KUAS, which is short for keeping up with Amazon syndrome. KUAS, like flatulence, is a silent but deadly killer. Strategy is important and so is focus. This could be distracting. Kroger, I would encourage you instead to spend the time on the things that most matter, like Ocado. Don't get distracted by the things that are flying out in the world like the drone announcement in 60 minutes some time back. No, instead, focus on what is so important for you to do well. And also, focus on the things that could expand your business. You're very entrenched in grocery, and for that reason, you are still a convenient part of people's lives. So how do you take those physical locations and turn them into more of a one-stop shop for all of the social and commercial needs that people have still in a physical place? That could differentiate you so much more in the long run than autonomous vehicles that, quite frankly, the world is not yet ready for. That about wraps us up this week. As always, be careful out there.